How about that win, though? Uh, this is your third win over a national rank program, and um, you know I, I know this one has its own special feel here in your morning. Yeah, I think the, the thing that we talked about is Brickyard victories, which is top 25 wins or uh, FPS wins. And we've had six in program history, you know, and uh, we've had two of them. Uh, I guess now seven. So the thing that the reason that I make a big deal about the, the Brickyard is because that gives you national exposure. Like I basically check the top 25 scores through when you're in there, and now they're talking about SEMA, which raises a, and elevates a program. And this team will now have their their the roster on that Rosen Garden board forever. So when we walk by, we'll talk about tonight um, forever, and, and that's what it's all about. You know, hats off to this team. First things first, uh, the defense uh, was really solid after giving up that first touchdown. But in the second half, I mean, held them scoreless. Uh, how about that defense tonight? Yeah, that was a good base under test. I mean, understatement of the year. I mean, they. I mean, that was a good offense. And they held them to seven points. I mean, that's that's spectacular. And so they did a great job, and um, they kept battling. We gave them some tough situations on the, the fake punt, and then uh, obviously uh, some some field position issues uh, when the offense had the ball in the 50, and they just responded. Just to elaborate on the defense a little bit more, uh, Devin Church yeah, is not an easy guy to break down, but they, they did a pretty good job corralling him. I mean, only 86 yards here, uh, which is a slow night for Devin Church. Uh, how do you feel like they did against him? I think we, we did well. I mean, I think we did a great job. I think when we watch the film, we'll talk about we got to tackle a little better, but uh, they have they have a lot to do with that too. Um, but uh, we can't miss those tackles. Obviously, a lot of what the defense did was set up on those early downs where they were able to break into the back up and somebody forward yeah. back there a few times. Kendall Connorson again. Um, you know, talk to me about how key that is to get those lost those, those lost yardage on first down. Yeah, you get a TFL and you get up on the chains. You know, for the second and fourteen, you should get off the field. You know, they've been the number three team in the country in third down uh, percentage. I know we're fifty percent a half. I'm not sure. They're nine and nineteen. And so uh, they were really good, but we were able to get off the field because uh, some of those third downs were long. And then how about that last fourth down? How, how huge was that? So they responded and, and did a great job. We got good senior leadership. Coach Shai does a great job with those guys. And, um, you know, I'm not surprised. It seemed like a lot of guys, too, go down kind of left and right uh, and really just kind of able to plug other people in. Uh, Steve DeRosier, I think, came in for a little bit there uh, when Mike went out. Uh, and you saw some guys really just uh, come in and fill those holes pretty well. Sure, a lot of depth. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think we had uh, about 30 guys play on defense, and then it was good. There were several two freshmen in there, too. And so those guys did a good job. I mean, it's, uh, can't say enough. Uh, walk me through the game, opening drive. Uh, you know, they, they obviously you forced a three and out, and then you guys are able to score on that opening drive. Uh, just really kind of grinding in, though. Uh, Jesse just kind of buries himself in. But though, to give yourself that lead early on here at home, how big was that? Well, it's huge. I think uh, we're two for two in the red zone, right? Uh, with a touchdown, so that's huge um, to come away with the 14 points. And offensively, they did a good job. Go down there and got it in the end zone. Jump up 14 nothing. Uh, I already talked with the coach viewers about it, but a, a pretty good play call on third and one. Um, and then Jesse just kind of, or no, that was the first down play, I'm sorry. Uh, the play action, though, passed to, to Adrian Davis. Uh, you know, walk me through that play action, though. It seems like that's something that's really evolving in this offense, and to see that kind of fruits of that tonight. Yeah, we got to be able to throw the ball down the field, you know, and, and take advantage of everybody loading the box because we, we run the ball well. And, uh, Struggled at that at times, but that was that was just a great job. I mean, it's a beautiful ball in stride and, and scored. Um, you know, it's exactly how you draw it up. How about Jesse Hoskins tonight? I thought he did a nice job. Managed the game well. Didn't turn it over. Uh, moved the ball. Or he ran the ball a little bit too. Um, you know, doing exactly what uh, we want him to do. Is this just something about playing at home with him? I mean, he seems to really uh, kind of put on his dancing shoes here at here now. <laughs> Um, you talk to me about, uh, you know, obviously, yes, you, yeah, you kind of punch back uh, this score. Yeah, I mean, that, are you talking about the third quarter? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, when, yeah, you scored their touchdown there in the first half, of 18 yard run. Uh, oh. You guys were able, able to uh, hold on, though, there in that second quarter defensively early. Yeah, it really was. You know, that, that was uh, one of those things where you break some tackles and, um, you know, got in there, and that's what we got to do. We got we to tackle those guys. 
Uh, weird, weird kind of situation there in the second half with the fumble. Uh, but you're, you never really phased that offense that came back yeah. out in the next drive. Well, that's one that it has. Yeah. Like when we stub our toe in the past, we just tank it. You know, and that was the thing we really uh, harped on all week. Like it's going to happen. Like they're coached too. They're on scholarship too. But we got to respond. And that's exactly what they did. Went out and responded. They didn't let it get it down. The sideline didn't get down. They just kept responding. And, and, and so you saw that continually, even after the missed field goal. Yeah. Um, I mean, it wasn't just one issue there on offense, yeah. but uh, you know, how, how big is that team's response? I mean, you, you've been looking for that for the first three weeks. It's kind of that. Yeah, and, and you can't. You know, you got to have that next play mentality. We talk about it all the time when you know you have a significant event. All right, you got to have a great response so you can control the outcome all right, by your response. And so if you're worried about the last play leads into the next play, you just got to keep fighting. I mean, they, they, they had bad plays happen to them too, but you can't let it uh, affect you mentally. Um, I guess any of you guys can kind of speak to this, but second win in a row, we a nationally ranked team here tonight. Just where, what's the confidence level like for you guys right now? Well, if you saw that locker room, you'd have thought we won the Super Bowl. So we, you know, I don't know if we'll be able to beat Kelly High School next week. <laughs> we got to do a good job of just 24 hours, right? We, we work hard, so we need to enjoy it. You know, but, uh, you know, we talk about the OBC, right? Not just, mm -hmm. just this little thing here. Obviously, we like it, but, uh, you know, we need to enjoy it. There'll still be some things that we got to try and take off the film and, and uh, get ready to go on the road and face a, I think, Eastern Kentucky's undefeated. I didn't see the score today but uh, in the conference for from your perspective I mean last time you guys uh, in the home opener you missed an opportunity in front of the home fans to really make a statement and leave a good taste in their mouth how important was it to do that um, just to, as far as connecting with the community and getting them interested in what the same thing is here I love our community I do anything for them but I don't care like I, I wanted this for our players like when they look at you and they coach why are we winning I mean, I, it, it's tough, and I. This is the only. That's about them, and I wanted them to feel it. And, and I mean, we've been grinding on each other, and you know, the fan fans have been very supportive. We love them, but it ain't about them. 